Hey everybody, my name is Roy Okukwe and I'm the CEO and founder of Unique Studios. Now, some of you may also know me as writer and creator of award-winning series like Malaka Warrior Queen and EXO The Legend of Wally Williams. But today I'm here to talk to you about something very, very special, something amazing, something unique. Uh, it's a brand new series in the Unique Universe. It's fresh, it's new. We've been working on it for, I would say, about three years now and it's called Iyanu Child of Wonder. Iyanu chronicles the journey of a teenage orphan girl with no recollection of her past who suddenly discovers that she has abilities that rival the ancient deities of her people. It is these abilities that are the key to bringing back the age of wonders and saving a world on the brink of destruction at the hands of the corrupt, cursed wildlife and divine beasts determined to destroy humanity. I created Iyanu for kids, teenagers, adults, families, Basically anyone and everyone who loves a great fantasy coming of age story. If you or your kids are into epic adventure stories like The Incredibles, Brave and Dragon Prince, you'll feel right at home with Iyanu. Similar to those titles, Iyanu does not shy away from the use of epic fantastical elements to shape its story and characters. But on a deeper level, these elements are used to illustrate one central truth. Light will always overcome darkness. There is one distinctive quality that Iyanu has, which the previously mentioned projects do not, and that is the lore of African culture, history, and mythology. Everything, and I do mean everything in Iyanu, costumes, architecture, politics, names, locations, and more, everything is inspired by Yoruba culture. Now, for those that don't know, Yoruba is one of three major tribes in Nigeria, which just happens to be where I was born and raised. So. If it wasn't very obvious already, this story really means a lot to me. If there's anything that we've learned about the entertainment industry in the last few years, it is that the demand for content featuring African culture is huge, and yet it is also grossly underserved, especially as it pertains to young black girls. Hopefully, Iyanu changes all of that. So, the 100 page graphic novel is about 90% done, and all the artists have been paid. The purpose of this Kickstarter pre-order campaign is to raise money to print the books. That being said, I hope you are just as excited about Yano as we are. If you need more information, please make sure you check out the Kickstarter page itself. There's tons of more info on there. Images, world building, um, character bios, locations, inspiration, everything um, is on the Kickstarter page. So make sure you check that out. But until then, we hope we get your support on this Kickstarter. We hope you back it and grab your own copy of Yano. If you have more questions, make sure you reach out to me on social media at Unique Studios, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Um, until then, see you when I see you.